come tonight to discuss a very, very serious issue. We have discussed Kashmir a number of times within the group, and we know there's an all-party group on both Kashmir and Pakistan and India in this house. But we look at specific issues tonight. It is discussion on human rights. Third World Solidarity Group needs my special thanks and appreciation for standing up for the people who have been denied their right, their fundamental right, which was promised to them by the international community more than six decades ago. So I think it's about time, you know, that uh, as the British parliamentarians have been taking lead in all the right causes, so it's about time. And uh, I must say that it is very gratifying that a few weeks ago there was a backbench debate in the House of Commons. And uh, that, has, that followed yesterday's march, which was uh, by the Kashmiri diaspora. And I think time has come that when the world has to realize that why this Kashmiri people why these people are getting arrested? Because they are getting arrested, the world had made a commitment to them through the several union and security council resolutions that, you know, the fundamental right which has been assured under the UN Charter, Human Rights Charter, will be afforded to you. And lo and behold, unfortunately, it has not been the case. My government has always stood by our Kashmiri brethren, we have always and we stand committed to provide diplomatic, moral support for this rightful cause which we think is the right of the Kashmiri people because a while ago it was said here, you know, is it a Pakistani perspective or is it an Indian perspective? I would say let's listen to the Kashmiri aspirations. What do they want? Kashmiri aspirations because they have, like anyone else in the world, their fundamental right to determine their own future. Yeah. So I think if we keep that in mind, then we are not talking about a territory, a piece of land. We are talking about 15 million plus <coughs> Kashmiri people. Kashmiris who are spread all over the world. So they want their homeland back. So I think the day which we are celebrating uh, here today, ladies and gentlemen, reminds us of the occupation of that beautiful land, which was turned by one of the European Union resolution as the most, uh, as, as the largest and beautiful prison on the, on the surface of this world, on the surface of this earth. So I think we are talking about a, a nation which is yearning for realization of their aspiration. And we are asking the world to stand up and fulfill their commitment. As far as my government is concerned, we remain committed we will never waver on our commitment, but that does not mean that you know we have to sort of uh, leave everything to us or to the uh, you know the occupation forces. It is for the international community to also stand up for the right causes. Therefore, I would request and urge that you know as. British Parliament or the British uh, government has always been taking lead, as it was said a while ago. You know, the, uh, it was a very civilized way of providing an opportunity to people to have a referendum and decide. So I think if that can happen here, this is an internationally recognized dispute. Why can't the world give the Kashmiris their right? With this, I would say that uh, you know, as far as we are concerned, we stand committed. But it takes two to tango. Uh, unfortunately, you must, it was mentioned a while ago here that you know, in the recent past, we have seen some escalation of tension along the line of control. Line of control is a line which has been temporarily marked between India and Pakistan. And there is a, there is a you know, exchange of fires and mortars across the line. <coughs> my government, my prime minister, has said it time and again that we are willing to engage to find the permanent peaceful solution to the dispute through negotiations. And I think that's the way to go forward. We can't be adamant and we can't say that either my way or highway. It has to be 
a negotiated settlement of the disputes because who would know better than you know uh, your nation because a while ago it was mentioned that you know the, the troops are coming back from Afghanistan my heart goes out to the families of those 453 people who laid their lives so you would realize there is no solution <coughs> there is no solution which can be implemented by force it has to be through negotiation so my government stands committed to negotiate this dispute through peaceful means and we will always take into consideration the aspirations of the Kashmiri people. We don't want to do anything, we don't want to impose on anybody, but we are definitely a party because internationally recognized party. Therefore, we are ready to play our role. I, I, I hope the other side will also realize the time has come because it's not, uh, you know, we cannot brush these things under the carpet indefinitely because I think people want their rights. With this, I would uh, hope that the message will be sent out that it's, better, it's about time that resolutions <coughs> should be uh, resolved peacefully, amicably, rather than the use of force. Because use of force <coughs> will not lead us anywhere, rather it will come to the situation. And I think it has been aptly uh, termed, Kashmir has been aptly termed by former President of the United States, President Clinton, as the flashpoint in the world. So I think we are two nuclear neighbors, nuclear armed states. So we have to be very responsible. We have to act, we have to behave, we have to uh, perform very responsibly. So I think my government is ready to engage in all, on all these issues provided there's a uh, you know, readiness on the other side. With this, I would say, I would conclude to assure our Kashmiri brethren here through the true representatives of the Kashmiri people that my government stands committed, as always, to support the Kashmir's rightful cause at all levels, politically, diplomatically, and morally, which we have been doing, and inshallah, we continue doing that. Once again, gentlemen, Chairman, thank you very much for this opportunity.